Absolutely, the teams are coming out now. Tolaj is a really good example, Al, because he um, he looks, as we saw pre-season and in the first game, he, he looks on the edge of doing something exciting all the time, and it hasn't quite been coming off for him of late. Um, but undoubtedly, there's going to be days when it does come off for him, isn't there? Yeah, well, what, one thing about Tolaj is that um, he's still coming to terms with the physicality of the National League. He's played at Brighton under-21s or under-23s, and... Um, uh, there's a bit more um, streetwise defenders at this level and he's got the control, he's got the first touch but he just sometimes gets a little bit nudged off the ball too often. I think that will come in time, he will come to adjust to that. Widrington rotates his strikers again. I think he appreciates, appreciates the effort that Thomas is putting in. It hasn't quite paid off for him yet but he's more likely sometimes perhaps to go for that away from home, isn't he? Yeah, he um, did, he did yeah. well at uh, file, didn't he? And, uh, he, he, he does give his uh, his fellow attackers a little bit of a respite because he's always there, always in, always uh, challenging. Yeah, be interested to see what how we line up. I, I'm going for a three-five, sorry, three-four-one-two, but um, we're we're short of central defence. It'll be a three-four-one-two. I don't think Tommy will change his. I don't think he'll change his formation. This in front of him. Uh, with Unlove and Marsh up top. Borenwood are kicking left to right, so they're kicking towards the Aldershot fans in the first half. Early-headed winner from Cameron Cox, ball down into the area. Unlove slips, claims a penalty, coming into contact with Glover. Gets very little empathy from the Shots fans, but uh, nevertheless, the referee Dale Baines has given the free kick. Going to be a shot from distance from Tyrone Marsh. Well, he puts it on, on target, and Jor... Jordy slaps it away. I'm not even going to say punch. He slaps it away. Not as many as Gates had managed not in quite. the week. 37 is Toledge. Tries a shot from distance. Parried. Oh. oh, and it's skied over the bar by Kwame Thomas from six yards. He reacted well, but he lifted his shot and he holds his head to the skies. Brilliant effort from Tolaj. And Kwame Thomas, they don't come much easier than no, that. They don't. Tolaj did add so well. He turned sharply on the edge of the box and got it onto his favoured left foot and he hit it well but it was direct down the middle of the goal and uh, Ashmore just palmed it out where Thomas could only put it over the bar. That was a glorious chance. David Stevens, a big, big target in there for them. As is Sass Davis who wins that, flicks it on. Effort on goal. Falling backwards. You might call it an overhead kick but he didn't really get hold of it from Ty Marsh. There wasn't much power on it and it went straight into the grateful clutches of... Uh, Jordi van Stappershoor. Yeah, it, luckily it was straight at him, but uh, he fumbled it and it, he had time to recover. Uh, Harfield battling well against Dunlove again and comes away with the ball. Stokes picks it up now. He's got Frost out to the left of him. He keeps the ball himself, gives it to Tolaj again. He's always in a pocket space. He's broken clear again. Great shot on target, saved by Ashmore. And he, he gave Stokes the ball in a tight, uh, Tolaj in a tight position. Tolaj got him free from his marker ever so well and then he let lie from f fly from 30 yards but unfortunately again straight down the throat of Ashford coming deep oh back to Clover who feigned feigned to do a pass and nearly did it inadvertently you saw somebody the, with a red shirt in the stand uh, yeah or the other <laughs> way around then now exchanges passes with Harry's into Kwame Thomas Thomas back to Harry's Harry's ball straight through the middle looking for Stokes he's into the penalty area now poor touch yeah. he's in difficult touch but he drew the keeper and he beat Ashmore with ease. And Aldershot have got the goal that they thoroughly deserve. They've dominated the first half here at Meadow Park. And yet again, it's Josh Stokes with his sixth of the season. Borenwood nil, Aldershot Town one. I think it was Glover put him through a lovely slide, slide rule pass. And just inside the area, he saw the keeper coming and he just placed it past him. Didn't try to blast it. That's how you score opportunist goals. Well done, Josh. Josh Stokes is the most natural finisher that I can remember at this football club since, and I'm going to go a long way back here, Jake Robinson, and uh, smashed it over the stand, and uh, something I haven't messed, but it's mentioned all afternoon now, but it's right in front of us. We are now at the Mangata Pay UK Stadium, and that's right. the last time I'm going to say it. All right. uh, we'll come back to you for a point in a minute. There's a shot from distance. Oh, oh. I was waiting for the net to bulge. It came in from Belanta. Jordi van Stappershoef dived away to his right. 
I think he may have got a slight touch on it. Corner to Borenwood, and Borenwood's best moment of the game so far, Al. Yeah, the two subs uh, have certainly made an impact. It's a dangerous situation with the corners and set pieces they have. In comes the corner to the far post, header down on target, half cleared, and then volleyed away with an overhead kick by Kwame Thomas. Throw in to Boreham Wood, ball into Palanta, heads it down to Marsh, goes for the return, but it's cut out by Minoga. Shot comes in, good save, instant parry from Jordi Van Stapperschurf. Uh, Van Stapperschurf, so Aldershot being asked a few questions here, as you'd expect, away to Boreham Wood. Oh, that's a very late challenge on Toledge, but stay with us, Joe, because Frost is through into the penalty area, holds it up, gets his shot in. It's parried by Ashmore just as Kwame Thomas looked to touch it in. Ashmore got enough on it, Joe. More drama here at Wood, end-to-end -end stuff, but it remains. Boreham Wood nil, shots won. Brilliant play by Toledge again. He picked up a clearance, turned and put Frost away on the left flank and Frost ran another 30, 40 yards. Now he goes back to Frost. This is a good game now. There was one side dominating the first half. Now they're not, but they're still in it and still ahead. And that's the shots. Here's Minoga, right-hand side of the penalty area. Tries a shot. What a yeah, beauty! God. What a goal! Haji Minoga drilled it low. Wide of Ashmore. A quality, quality goal from the Portsmouth low knee. And the shots, having suffered a period of pressure from Boreham Wood, have stuck again. And it's Boreham Wood nil. Or shot two. That was an identical of the goal last oh, two weeks ago at Fylde. Um, in this game, it was Minogan received the ball from Harris. He advanced 20, 30 yards. Nobody was challenging him, so I thought, why not? And he hit it perfectly with the outside of his right foot, foot and right in the bottom corner. Ashmore had no chance. A quite brilliant moment from a quite brilliant footballer who does everything he can for Aldershot Town at the back. And uh, he showed another side to his game there. And I think even he himself, looking at his face right now, looking at his body language, can't quite believe what he's pulled off. Tom Whelan's going to take it. In it comes. And Van Stapperscher have slightly impeded. <laughs> Nothing's given. And the follow-up shot comes in from that man, Valanta. And in the 60th minute, Boreham Wood have got a goal back. I think... Maybe Van Stapperschurf could have done better with the first ball in, but he was slightly impeded. Probably not enough to give a foul, but as the ball came out, Balanta just stroked it into the space that was left. I, I've got to say that I would put the keeper down at Fort Lear. It was a high hanging ball, and he just palmed it back down into the box. And then from a corner, uh, Aldershot couldn't quite clear the ball, and Balanta himself was there on hand to slot home into the empty space from uh, just inside the penalty area. Boreham would ask questions again now as you join us. Balanta's got it on the edge of the area. It's going to be a really difficult finish to this game for shots. Ball into the area and Boreham would touch it towards goal. And a combination. I might be offside. We'll wait and see. I don't think the flag's going to go up. What's the referee doing? He's going up now and all the shot have been saved by the flag of the assistant referee and it's the right decision because Unlove got some contact on the ball and then Marsh ahead of him put it into the empty net. The correct decision's been made, it remains. Boreham Wood one, Aldershot Town two, but the shots are living dangerously. Now they've got it out on the right-hand side now, ball into the middle, Unlove heads it down to Whelan. Whelan to Ilasami. is he going to try a shot here with his left foot? Tries a pass into the area, Unlove comes, tries the shot, Van Stapperschurf got out really well and smothered it. And me involved in everything. Plays the ball forward into the feet of Marsh. Marsh touches it to Balanta. Balanta going across the pitch. Um, comes back the other way and gives it to Souza. Souza with the ball in to Whelan. Whelan tries the ball into the area. And the ball is deflected off of Harry's up into the air. And Jordi Van Stapperschurf has got it. And I know he's not going to get that clean sheet today. And the shots are not going to get that clean sheet, Al. But... I think after the pressure they've come under in this second half, it would be a real achievement if they can hold on for all three points. Now hooks it over his head. Willard and Widrington, with the biggest leap, gets it forward. It's played forward. Harfield takes it down, clears it forward up. And there is the final whistle. The shots have done it. They've put the performance in. And now they've got the result. Boreham with one. All the shot town, two.